Have you ever wonder how can I find the height of a tree or a building? So today's topic will enable you to find the height of any tree or any building from your surrounding, which is physically not possible. So imagine you are standing in front of a tree and you are thinking, how can I find the height of the tree? You went ahead and you start you stand here. This much is your height. This much you are able to find out. Okay, this much is my height and this much is tree's height. What about this part? What about this part? So you started wondering, what is this part? How can I find out? So are you curious? So by the end of this chapter, by the end of this topic, you will be able to find this. So let us try to find out what else information do you have? So let us go back here. Imagine you're standing here again. This much height we know, okay? This much height we know, whatever is the height. If I'm looking at the top of the tree, what shape is it forming? Yes, you are absolutely correct. It is right angle triangle. Now, in a right angle triangle, we got this information. What else is there? What else you can find? Yes, think about it. If you are able to walk on the ground, that means you are able to find this distance. You are able to find this distance. Now you have this distance. Let me ask you one thing. Do you know uh, the theorem which we normally apply or normally associate with a right angle triangle? Yes, it is Pythagoras theorem. But if you try to imagine a Pythagoras theorem, you need minimum two sides. Okay, so today's topic is basically to go beyond sides and try to find a relationship between angle and side. Let me just take you to another example. I have taken the same example. This is your height 1.7. This is a distance you have traveled. Now I am figuring out how can I find the height of the remaining tree, remaining part of the tree. We'll come back to this topic once we are done with the basics of this topic. Another thing which I can find out is this angle. You must be wondering how. So try to imagine that I'm looking straight. Okay, looking straight. And one ray of light is going like this. Now, somebody is calling me from the top of the building. I tilt my head, head up. Now, what happened? My eyesight is moving like this. So, earlier the eyesight was like this, straight. So, what angle? There is some angle being formed. How can I find this angle? You want to, are you curious to know how can I find this angle? Definitely you can. There is a tool, there is a device which you can make at home is known as clinometer. But uh, so we will come back to this thing, okay, as an activity where we will do an activity and go out and find out the height. Okay, let's move ahead. So let me just recall one thing. There are six elements in a triangle, three sides, three angles. So we know this thing. So finding a relationship between sides and angle, the study of that is called in mathematics trigonometry. What is trigonometry? Let me just rewrite it for you. You can make notes. It is the branch of mathematics dealing with relations of sides and angles of triangle. Let me just give you the how the term trigonometry came. The word trigonometry comes from the Greek word trigno, trignon means triangle and metron means to measure. But before that, I hope you understood the relevance why we are doing this thing, why we are studying this topic. Because we want to come back to this problem at the end. So before we uh, jump onto the problem, we need some tools in our hand. So what are those tools? 
so first of all we have we need to have a deeper understanding of a right angle triangle let me just go and see what is a right angle triangle as you can see the simple shape right angle triangle is nothing but a triangle with which has one angle as 90 degree okay so we know this relationship that's why i'm not going deeper i'm just giving you the information we are just recalling it right now so in a right angle triangle so this angle is angle a is 90 degree let me just mark it for you yeah angle a is 90 degree and we know this relationship pythagoras theorem so hypotenuse square is equals to ld root square plus base square so this relationship will be useful in case we have two sides and need to find the third side okay now if you go back to our original example you were standing here and you were looking at the top of the tree so you were forming an angle in this uh, chapter we call that angle as theta what do we call theta okay so theta is nothing but a greek letter used to represent angle nothing much so don't worry about this theta this is nothing but an angle so let me just move ahead a bit so let me just give you some of the terms which are useful let me just go down so that you can read it properly hypotenuse hypotenuse is a fixed line in a right angle triangle remember this okay now now we are moving towards the important part of the topic so pay attention hypotenuse is nothing but opposite to 90 degree always always so opposite to 90 degree is the hypotenuse and perpendicular is always opposite to theta and base is the i call it the remaining side okay or you can say adjacent side and this is our first and foremost topic in the trigonometric chapter which we should know it is base in this case think about it yes hypotenuse is opposite to 90 degree which is bc so we'll write bc perpendicular perpendicular is opposite to theta okay or i would say opposite to angle the given angle so ab and the remaining side ac is the base let me just write a few parts like these three parts and you do it for me so these are the three questions which you can do you can form a table of this sort and uh, this is a reference which i have shown so you can write down your answer 